My blinker's on and I don't know why. No, my hazards are on. Well, there's some hazardous material I'd like to share with you out of this Christian Northwest newspaper. I, well, the rain just stopped. Kind of slowed down. Anyway, vaccine segregation in Washington churches okayed. See? Not too long, so let's, let's see what they have to say. Olympia, Washington, under new COVID-19 guidance from Governor Jay Inslee, the state is giving churches and other public venues an incentive to segregate attendees. Oh, wait a minute. Attenders. Between those vaccinated and those not. So segregation is in. As reported by various media, Inslee last month said creating a separate vaccinated section could allow a boost to 50% capacity at sporting events. Isn't he generous? Graduations and religious services. Isn't it nice they can tell you what to do? Uh, for your religious purposes. Inslee announced the right for churches and spectator events at locations in phases two to three under the state's COVID restriction categories to create such seating sections, but with separate entrances for the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. It's called seg 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 segregation. I, I can hardly even say the word. Inslee was sharply criticized at both local and national levels. Gee, I wonder why, right? Jason Rantz, a talk host on Seattle Conservative Radio station KTTH, charged that Inslee is doing everything short of mandating a vaccine to try to force you into getting one. Oh, they're all trying to get you to get it. And I wonder why for a 99% survival rate. Bug. That really bugs me. Does it bug you? should bug you. Matt Staver, former Dean of Liberty University's Law School in Virginia and chairman of the nonprofit Christian legal rights organization, Liberty Council, said Inslee was dangling the freedom carrot, but actually is restricting freedoms. Staver wrote, the governor of Washington state just created a two-tiered system that will have the effect of telling people where they can and cannot sit inside a church, all based on their vaccine status. We absolutely cannot allow the government, hold on, I gotta search for page five. Uh, page five. Oh, here it is. To tell people where they can sit in church. When was the last time you read a newspaper? Nor can we allow a two tier system of vaccinated versus unvaccinated people. Satan has been trying to divide the church for centuries but the new guidance was welcomed by a large non-denominational church in Redmond. Anything can increase capacity is good news for us, Tim White Sr. at Washington Cathedral told Seattle's King TV. Oh, oh, what's that about a mark in the right hand of the forehead? Sure, go ahead. As long as we can increase capacity, right? Don't matter. Under the guidance, individuals would be admitted to the vaccine only sections by presenting a card. Your papers, please. Or digital photo, which includes name, type of vaccine received, and the date of the last dose administered. To be considered fully vaccinated, individuals must have had both shots of Pfizer or Moderna or the single Johnson & Johnson set, shot at least two weeks before attending an event. Children aged 2 to 15 may present a negative COVID test result that was taken within 72 hours of admission. Children younger than two need to be accompanied by a vaccinated adult. Wow. Next, they're going to tell us what toilet we can use. Oh, wait a minute. They already do, kind of, don't they? Outdoor venues such as stadiums can create vaccinated sections until their total capacity reaches 50% maximum or 22,000 people, whichever is lower. Indoor facilities should reach or could reach 50% maximum or 2,000 people, whichever is lower. Whether inside or outside, mask wearing is still mandated. Yep. So there you go. Read it and weep. Oh. Have a happy Taco Tuesday. If they're not segregating the taco from the meat.